We spent all this time creating the perfect design. It's been handed off to development. They've implemented it into code, but you've found some issues with it where things don't work. They're not really lining up to your design as expected, or maybe there's just a bug and something's not working. Communicating all of this is really, really difficult to do, but I found a method that makes this an absolute breeze. I wanna show you how to do it. All right, I have a website open, a website that I built and I handed it off to developers and I put it in their hands to create the code. And there's lots of buttons you can click here to join and sign up and do all this fun stuff. But one of the buttons I'm having a little bit of an issue with. I can click down here, but as I start to roll up, there is a problem there for some reason. It's just not clickable. This is me clicking and it's an issue. So this is just one of a couple of different bugs that are happening on this project. If I wanted to communicate this issue, I'd have to create a ticket and some sort of software or whatever it is, send an email, maybe it gets seen, maybe it doesn't, maybe it gets lost in Slack, but I found an easier way and it's by using this awesome new tool called Jam. Take a look at this. I can actually just download the Chrome extension that I have working up here in my browser and I can hit Jam and it just pops right open and it gives me a couple of really simple options. I can take a screenshot, I can record a video or I can record the entire desktop and it's all hooked up to my stuff, my microphone, my camera, everything. So let's say I wanted to take a screenshot. I hit that, it tells me I either click or drag to create a screenshot. So why don't I just drag over this specific area like that and boom, it immediately opens up the editor. I can grab like a color and a pen if I want to and I can highlight the area right there. Boom, 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 that's the one we're talking about. And then I can write a comment here, right? So I can say, uh, half the button is not clickable, uh, right? Just like that. And as soon as I create, it does this really cool thing. It says, hey, listen, it opened a new tab and it copied it to the clipboard. So look up in my browser. You can see it has opened a new tab and it's created the bug report, which is the whole idea here. A bug report is me communicating a bug, communicating an issue, but I don't know as a designer maybe what all the details are. And the first question that my developers are gonna ask me is, well, what browser were you in? What was happening when you did this? And guess what? Jam is gonna solve all of that for me. You can see we have my screenshot open. You can see my comment, but the real magic happens down here for my developers when they can see here's the URL, the timestamp, the device that I was on, the browser. It even tells them the window size, the country, the screenshot dimensions. And my developers can jump in and they can see the console, all the things that happen, network actions, back end, all of that stuff. And they can even access this Jam GPT. It's like Chat GPT that will just solve the issue or give some advice using AI. This is amazing because my developers get all the information for the bug and more to help them solve the problem and get us back on track. Some people say a picture is worth a thousand words, but I actually prefer the video feature of this where I can open up the problem or the page. I can click record tab or the entire desktop. It's gonna start my magic countdown, three, two, one, and now we're recording and it's recording my voice. So I could say to my developers, hello developer friend, the button is only clickable down here. You can see as I roll over, that's the only part that's clickable. All this, I'm clicking and nothing is happening. It's kind of problematic. I need you to help me out with that. I stop that, Jam opens it up. I'm able to leave my comments here as usual, but I can also scrub through the video that I've just recorded. And when I'm ready, I just press the magic green create button or I can attach things with it. Boom, it's creating that new tab and that new link. It opens it up. And again, this is where I can send this link to my developer. This is so much better. It's just copy this link, shoot it to my developer. And just like that, they get all of the video after it's done uploading as well as all of the details. And if this wasn't enough, I could actually go back to my Jam dashboard. I can create a team and invite people to that team and they can find all the information from all of the Jams that I've created. This tool is gonna save me an absolute ton of time because it's gonna be awesome for me to communicate with developers, maybe even use this to work with clients so that I can get feedback really, really quickly and make the changes, address everything, and move on to what matters more. So what do you think? Are you gonna be using Jam in your workflow? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. And also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and developer handoff. So ring the bell so you know when another video like this one comes out. Hope you're having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things. And if you want some more content, hit one of these videos up over here somewhere.